Hello everyone, let's start with exercise 3.2, question number 3. So in this it says, are the following pair of linear equations consistent? Justify your answer. So for, for system to be consistent, then it should have two ways. That is one, one is infinitely many solution, other is unique solution. So these are the two conditions it must satisfy to form consistent equation. So let's start with the first one without wasting any further time. So the first one is minus 3, a1 is minus 3, a2 is 4 and b1 is, sorry, I'm sorry. So you can see first equation is written in the form of ax plus by equals c. The other is in the form of 4y plus 3x, sorry it is 3x here. So now what you need to do, you need to bring it in the form of ax plus by equals c. So now you can write your answer here, minus 3. Then we have 3 as a2 and b1 here is minus 4 and b2 here is 4. And the last one that is c1 over c2, so 12 over 12. So now you can see that the first two terms we have is minus 1 and minus 1 the second term and the last one is 12 over 12 so it equals 1 so therefore the last term is not equivalent to the first two terms so therefore you can directly see here that this is, is the case of no solution the given pair of linear equation is inconsistent therefore so this is inconsistent and has no solution to it. Now moving on to the next, we have a1 as 3 over 5 and a2 as 1 over 5. Now 5 and 5 gets cancelled out. We have the second one as minus 1 and b2 as minus 3. Now the c1 is half and c2 is 1 over 6. So the first term is 3, the second term is 1 over 3 which means that the first two terms are not equivalent. a1 over a2 is not equivalent to b1 over b2. Then it is a type of unique solution. And if it is unique solution, then it is consistent. The second one is consistent. Now moving on to the third part. In third part, you can see we have a1 as 2a, a2 as 4a, b1 as b, b2 as 2b, and c1 is a, c2 is minus 2a. Now, in this case, it is not a, it is actually minus a. Why? Because we need to bring this a to the left hand side. So, it will be minus a minus 2a. So let's solve this further. a and a gets cancelled out. We are left with half. In the second one again we are left with half. In the last one again we are left with half. So now you can see that these three are all equal here. So if they are equal then this is the condition of infinitely many solution and if this is infinitely many solution then it is consistent. Now the fourth one. Fourth one is x plus 3y equal 11 and the second equation need, needs to be expanded first. So it is 4x plus 12y equal 22. Now here we are given with a1 as, a1 as 1 and a2 as 4 b1 as 3 and b2 as 12. Now c1 is 11, c2 is 20. Now the first one is a1 1 over 4, the second one is 1 over 4 and the last one is half. So you can see that the last one is not equivalent to first two. So this condition is again inconsistent and it has no solution to it inconsistent and no solution to it. 
So that's your answer for question number 3, exercise 3.2. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.